What's going on guys? Welcome to another jumpstart video. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in, see what packs we get, and hopefully we get something really good. Ooh. Oh, I really wish I could get these two together. Uh, because I really like both of these together. Um, hmm. We've done rainbow a decent amount. Let's start with archaeology. Let's just see. This leaves us very open as well, which I think is worth it. Um Devilish might be a good way to go. I don't know how much like sacrifice stuff or like if stuff dies you ping. Um, but archaeology has a good bit of stuff like that. Let's try it. Let's try devilish. Let's see what we get. Uh, don't know a ton about these two archetypes other than the archaeology one being uh, very very focused on artifacts, obviously. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, yep, makes sense. Uh, Zerzoth. Whenever an opponent draws the first card, you turn if it's not their turn. That's cool. I like that. Um, very nice. All right, cool. Well, let's give it a shot. I don't know how great these two are together, but we're gonna we're gonna try. I think it'll be fun. Archaeology and devilish. Interesting, interesting. Um, at the time this goes up, I will most likely be on vacation, so I do wish you guys a great rest of your week and a fantastic weekend as well. Um, I know we're in the middle of like double masters spoilers and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, so I hate that I'm leaving at such a, uh, a kind of important time, but, um, I'm, I, I figured I initially said I wasn't going to be able to put up any videos, uh, after the JDC. Um, and technically I lied because I'm pre-recording a good bit, but, uh, they're all pretty much just jumpstart videos because jumpstart's easy to sit down and just kind of, you know, record, uh, at my fancy it's very easy to like commit 20 minutes 30 minutes to a to a, you know a one series thing i don't have to worry about doing a second video or anything like that it's just super nice and easy i love that ah nice coffee in my it resolves mug look at that all right uh not much we can do this turn so Pretty unexciting turn two, but that's okay. Uh, looks like the opponent is on dinos and some white thing. That, that's it. Um, I don't know how many of these jumpstart videos I'm going to be able to get up. So where you, um, my goal would be to shoot for one every day. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Um, and if I do get one up every day, it may be a little out of order by the time you watch it. So I apologize, but... Um, We'll do the best we can to get all these up. Uh, let's see. Scuttle Mutt does ramp us into the Pitchburn Devils, which is quite nice. Um, interesting. Uh, yeah, I think we just play out the, the Pitchburn Devils here. This does give us a clean answer to the Dreadmaw. Um, we can just block and then deal three damage to any target, which would be this. So uh, that is quite nice, but... Uh, this is actually kind of a tricky spot. We don't have a great play here. Woo. Yeah, dude, that's pretty good. Uh, we are gonna block here. Uh, just so we can get rid of at least one of these threats and now, you know, there's a little bit less to worry about, but um, we're still not in a great place, gotta be honest. Uh, let's do this, we'll save for red. Hmm. That's very good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's throw this out there and just see what happens. Um, I don't think it's going to matter very much, but we'll just equip this up. All right. Let's see what happens. I've not yet played with archaeology, so this is a bit of a first for me, but I really like the fact that it stays, you know, open. Uh, I think that that's really, really nice. All right, that's fine. Take 12. <laughs> All right. Pretty sure we just lose here. Uh, we do get to Meteor Golem, which is something, but not in a great position here. Just get to blow this up. Uh, this has to attack, obviously, but it um, doesn't really matter. They just don't have to block it. And now we're kind of in just a terrible position again. Um, <laughs> but we did get rid of the big stuff, so that's good. Okay. It's definitely not good either. Uh, obviously have to block, and because this dies regardless, we're just going to block the 4-4. Four, four. 
if they can give something trickle here, then they win. Pretty easy. Uh, they just have more powerful stuff, I think. Not much to do about that. Okay. Uh, play this out. I don't know why I attacked with both. That was dumb. Yep. Uh, do this. And do this. Just get as much out there as I can. Uh, but we are going to lose here. I, I don't think there's a way we really get out of this. Ooh, especially with that. We do want to keep that around, but we should not have attacked with this. That was a big mistake. Um, yeah, we just... We lose it. That was a big mistake, just saying attack all. I shouldn't have done that. Um... Let's do this. Let's draw a card here. Just to see what we get. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's a card, but it doesn't doesn't really get us out of this. Um, <laughs> let's put the counter here. Um, yep. We gonna die. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, hopefully, like I said, you guys have some fun plans this weekend or something like that that you're going to be doing. I know everybody's kind of on lockdown, so... Wow, really? Um, everybody's pretty much on lockdown, so I totally understand that, you know, there's not a ton we can do. But uh, I certainly hope that you get the opportunity to get out there and do something fun. Um, yes, Meteor Golem, please. Uh, if only we could play you. Um, hmm... I mean, we just passed. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have some fun plans. I, I um, Like I mentioned uh, in previous videos, I don't know that it, it was... It probably wouldn't have been today. Um, but <laughs> I did mention in previous videos that um, we're fortunate enough to be able to go on vacation a little bit, get out of Dodge, hopefully enjoy some time with my family. Um, and I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be a great time. Um, very fortunate there. So... Let's see, what do we want to do? I think we just block like this. Does this have trample? No. All right. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Meteor Golem. Um, what do we blow up is the question. Like, we don't have a great hit here. I guess this it doesn't really matter because everything we do is gonna die anyway um we do kind of want to move this over here though that just gives us a something that can kill something um this just gives us a a little blocker so that's fine it's not great but it's fine mm. That's so mean. Yeah, dude. That's very mean. Um, actually. If we do this, we get rid of the Death Toucher. Uh, because we can do this. I'm su very surprised we're hanging in there. I'll be honest, we should not have been in this game at this point, but hey, we are. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Jousting dummy. Let's go. Uh, we can just pump this guy up. Let's do it. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's put it here. All right, and we pass. Not much we can do. Uh, we could have put it on the, the devil and, like, theoretically attacked him, but... Um, I don't really think that was needed, we'll say. Uh, the fact that they can't finish us off is ridiculous. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Hmm. That's an instant. Let's pass. Um, what we'll do is in response to them sacrificing the Brontodon, if they do, uh, we sacrifice whatever artifact they target, assuming it's going to be a creature, 
and then be able to to, uh, to take out one of these little dork kind of dudes. I mean, we're still in it, which is really surprising. We're just drawing lands now, which isn't very helpful, but we're here. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, somebody mentioned, by the way, uh, was it Cactus? Cactus, I apologize. I think it was you. Uh, they asked on one of our videos the other day uh, if conceding when you know you've lost is, you know, kind of cheating your opponent out of a win. Um, and I can certainly understand where you're coming from with that. I, I think that there's a a world where I, I get it. Um, that's good. Okay, so let's pass. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do... Um, actually this hmm how do we do this most effectively is the question block those two and then block this so we do that then in response we do this I think we actually sacrifice the scarecrow um, sac wait cancel no I think we don't sacrifice the scarecrow. No, oh, why is that keep I, I keep clicking the wrong thing, that's just my fault. And get rid of that. We are hanging in there. And we should not. Um but anyway, yes, uh Cactus I believe asked, um, you know, what do you do in that situation? Because it does feel kinda like you're cheating the opponent out of a win. And I on one hand I get you, uh hundred percent. Um Especially if the opponent is doing something really, really cool. Like, I think it's important that, you know, you got to be understanding that they're trying to do the coolest thing that they can do. And if it works, it's great. Um, and so, you know, keep that in mind. But um, what I will say is uh, I think that if you know you're going to win or you know you're going to lose, it's probably okay to, to go ahead and concede. I generally subscribe to, like, the Reed Duke policy, which is make them win. Um, but... There are certain circumstances where it's just like, okay, there is absolutely no way that this is going to work. And um, I think you just kind of have to say, okay, that's enough. Um, unfortunately, uh, that that sucks, but you do what you got to do. All right. Um, Heartfire is pretty good. I'm going to try and take this and see what they do. They should sacrifice it and kill one of our things, which is fine, by the way. Yeah, dude, you got it. In which case, we sacrifice this. So now we just cleared their board. How in the world? Um, all right, then let's do this. And let's attack. Now we get another blocker. Um... We will move the short sword over here just so we've got a 2-2 and let's pass. This is like surprisingly a very interesting game. <laughs> we are very much hanging on by two. Um, if we were against a red deck, we would have lost by now, which I think is interesting. Um, ooh, that's pretty interesting. Um, all right, well, let's attack in. Probably should have held on to the land because we've got this little guy out, but that's fine. All right. Holy crap, we won it. <laughs> there is no way we should have won that. Whew, that was some interesting playing. Uh, Wow, that was really fun. Okay, heck yeah, go us. We did the thing. And we got another one of these guys. I'm in, let's do it, game two. Wow, there's no way we should have won that. There's absolutely no way, but that's fine. Ah, tasty. That was a long game. What are we at? 15 minutes almost already. Uh, goodness gracious. All right. Let's see what, the, uh, well, let's see what we are up against this time. Uh, Zubu. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we keep it's not an amazing hand, but, like, it's a hand. Um, we also kind of get to do this and then hopefully heart fire or something. Let's just go ahead and play this out. Uh, not super worried about getting this down early. 
Uh, I mean, I'd like to, don't get me wrong, but it's not like a... It's not the end of the world if we didn't. Uh, let's do blue, and let's pass. Hopefully this turn we'll kind of see what the opponent is up to. Okay. Uh, let's play land. I think we just play Scuttlemutt. I'm not very worried about, obviously, their 1-3. <laughs> um, so, not gonna, not gonna heart fire it. Um, but we do have Traitorous Greed, so the idea would be that we can Traitorous Greed, hopefully something really, really good, and then just heart fire the other thing. Uh, creatures of power, another, another. Nice, that's pretty good. Uh, let's play this out. Uh, and let's just play a pitch burn devils. Again, we're just kind of in the building out our board process. It looks like they're kind of in a mono green state, so not tremendously worried about a lot of, you know, kill spells or anything like that. We do have to worry about um, enchantment or artifact hate. Uh, that's certainly going to be a potential problem, uh, but that's okay. We can figure that out. Yeah, dude, that's pretty good. I want them to attack. Oh, you should not do that. You should not do that. Seriously? Okay. I was about to say, this makes it very difficult for them to really get a good attack in. Um, so the question is, should we Traitorous Greed now um, and get a nice little two for one? Or should we wait? Um, I'm kind of in the camp of waiting, actually. I mean, yeah, they've got some good stuff, but it's not like the end of the world here. Um, we do need to be able to... This actually gives us the power to do that, doesn't... Yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, let's just play Juggernaut. Um, so this is a bit of an interesting play because obviously they've got things on board that can just straight eat Juggernaut. Um, but I'm kind of okay if they do. It doesn't really matter. Um, it puts them in a very defensive position, uh, which just means that they may commit something a bit bigger. Uh, so that they can actually attack in with whatever they've got now. So um, if they play something big here, that's great. That just means that's the thing that we get to Traitorous Greed and then sacrifice to Heartfire, um, if that makes sense. Okay, that works too. That's fine. Um, and again, that's a spend to removal spell, which I think is really interesting. Uh, this does not have, yeah. They get one damage in. Untap a land, and we're going to deal three here. So we just got to... I think that was just a really bad attack by the opponent. Um, and maybe they just didn't know what Pitchburn Devils really did, but I think that was just a mistake. Um, and again, we're holding on to this. We have no reason to, to go for it now, um, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we want something bigger. Uh, we want to be able to answer whatever big threat that they've got going on. So we're kind of in the sit back and wait mentality until we can get something a little more aggressive. Um, and that's fine by me. Right now, it's just land after land, apparently. <laughs> uh, we'll pass. Um, and they don't have good attacks. I mean, they just don't. We're in a walls up position, but it seems to be working pretty well. Now, we can obviously at some point sacrifice this, but again, I don't see a need to until the very last minute. Um, so we're just passing. Ooh, now that is a card. That is a great card. That might require a heart fire. Um, we'll see. That's just a very good, solid card, to be honest. Uh, let's do this. Let's steal this. Uh, we'll do red. Um, let's do this first. Let's attack and see what they do. If they want to, like, block up a little bit, that just gets rid of another threat. Perfect. Yeah, they get to draw the card. I don't really care. Um, target this and get rid of this. All right. Um, cool. Well, we have officially dealt with most of their stuff. Um, now we just have to hope they don't have anything bigger. Uh, that was a card advantage engine, which is why I, like, pulled the trigger on that. Um, card advantage, especially when we're at top deck position, 
is terrible for us because eventually they will just bury us in card advantage. So um, I do think that we absolutely had to do that. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's not really bad for us. It's not great for them. Um, get to play this. Huh. So the question is, do we just attack with these two and see what happens? And I kind of think, yeah. Um, should we pop the spell bomb first? I'm going to say no. Don't know if that's right or not, but that's fine. If they want to block, they can. Yep. All right. They gain a life. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this now then. Draw our card. See what we get. Torch Fiend. Okay. Just go ahead and play that out. And we'll pass. Um, They're not doing a ton, if I'm honest. Wow, they're really not doing a ton. Um, do we have a good artifact to bring back? We have Juggernaut. Yeah, I think that's good enough. At this, st at this stage in the game, I think that's good enough. Yeah. Let's go ahead and play it out. Uh, and we'll just attack with a 2-2 here. If they want to block, they can block. If they've got a combat trick, we lose a 2-2. It's not really the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sure. You got me. Um, again, don't think that that's the worst thing in the world. I, it just, it's fine. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It gets trampled, right? And it must be blocked. Just block with the torch fiend. I mean, that's fine. That's powerful for sure, but like, doesn't really matter that much. Um, let's attack with these. And I think what we do is go ahead and pop this now. Um, that way, if they do have a combat trick, they have to use it. Okay. Cool. Well, now they're down to nothing. Maybe we get there? Uh, I'll be a little surprised if we do. Not necessarily surprised, but like... Um, I don't necessarily think... We haven't been super exciting throughout this game, let's just say. Uh, interesting. Okay. We'll attack with both here. They obviously just trade off with Juggernaut, I think. And we'll play this. Uh, and pass. Alright. Oh, yes, please. That is so good uh, with this. That is amazing. Uh, let's attack. What did they hit? Hunter's Edge. Cool. Got a removal spell. That's good with me. Uh, in turn. All right. Now we've got the devils going. I feel pretty good. Um, thanks. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. There we go. Second win. Wow. Uh, Archaeology and Devilish looking pretty good. Not going to lie. That's pretty solid. Um, we'll do one more game, I think. Uh, we did get our only two wins. We can't really get another card out of this. But just for the sake of having a little fun, we'll play another game. See if we can get a third win just for the fun of it. Um, oh, goodness. Interesting, interesting. Drink a little more coffee. It's a little cold. Um, let's see. Do we keep this? This is kind of a bad hand. Um, I mean, if we get one land, we're actually in great shape. Um, but ah, I'm going to free mulligan. I don't think that was very good. This isn't great either, but it's a rough keep. <laughs> yeah, I think we keep it. I mean, we've got some cheaper stuff, which is good. Um, say blue. I don't love this hand, though. Chances are, against the right deck, we just straight lose. And, unfortunately, no one tapped land. What'd they do? Green and blue. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Okay. So they got the Planeswalker. I don't know what the green Planeswalker is. Garrick? Is it just Garrick? That's fine. Uh... 
Hmm. Let's just play this out. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, so I assume they got, they might have just gotten like archaeology and Garrick. I'm just going to take two. We can trade for twos all day if you want. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we are stuck on land, which is not great. Um, let's play another 2-1. Uh, we're not in a position where we need to remove anything yet. We'll be taking some hits, and that's fine. It's totally fine. Not worried at all. Um, hmm. Definitely am behind in this game already, though, naturally, because of the lands. So, don't have high hopes, but that's okay. That is okay. Yeah, dude. Uh, the question is, do we trade here? I'm gonna say yes. Let's just trade. That's fine. I uh, kind of want to keep the torch fiend around. That's nice that we got to draw. Uh, do do. Let's see. I like that. Um. Yeah, let's just play this out. Spiteful prankster. Seems fine. Alright. Uh, do let's see. So this is, like, dinosaurs and stuff? I don't know, dude. This is a cool deck. Whatever it is. It's cool. I like it. I wish this had first strike on any given turn, but it does make sense. It's more aggressive. So, I'm with it. Uh... I think I'm kind of okay with trading these off. It just means that this can't attack unless they've got a follow-up. Uh, let's just peg them. Wish we could hit creatures with that, but it's okay. Oh, this is well red? Okay, so it's well red and Garrick, I suppose. That's fine. That's cool. Um, Let's see. What do we want to do? Hmm. So there is a world where we just want to play this out uh, just as a way to like get something going here <laughs> um, because this does ramp us is is the idea. Uh, this actually is also a very aggressive threat though so let's let's try this. Um, we can sack and kill something if we need to. Uh, don't want to because we've got two pretty high value creatures here but you know that's fine. Uh, this just doubles up any of the devils we get from this, which is really good. Uh, we could have also triggered it, I suppose. Um, but I don't think we needed to. It probably would have been a good idea, too. That was probably a bit of a mistake. Um, this is when any devil attacks. Uh, so there was a reason to, to want to attack there with the 3-2. Uh, the um, my mistake? Woo! Yeah, dude. Is this three damage to any target? It is. Look at that. Well, let's see what they do. You're in the wrong neck of the woods, pal. All right, Garrick. Good, good voice acting there. <laughs> uh. Hmm. As much as I don't want to, I think we just let this happen. We take a pretty big hit here. I'm going to say no blocks. That's fine. All right. Land is somewhat helpful. Uh, okay. Let's all attack at Garrick. They block one of them. That's fine. Okay, um, Garrick sounds really creepy, <laughs> let me just say. Uh, let's play this out. Let's get him out of there. Uh, we'll deal it to them, obviously. That wasn't great, was it? Because we just kind of can potentially just lose this turn. That was kind of a mistake. We should have swung one of them, or one 
little dude at uh, at the opponent, I think. That way we would have gotten a devil. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So now they attack and they get to draw. That's fine. Down to one. All right. Hmm. See what happens. Okay. They let it through. That's kind of interesting. Um, kill this, sacking this, which kills the archaeologist. Uh, and then one damage to them. A lot of blowing stuff up is going on right now. <laughs> Not upset about it, just pointing it out. <laughs> uh, let's play this guy out. Uh, don't have a lot of great options here. We'll just take the Jousting Dummy because it's cheaper. Uh, we do want to get to a position where we can play multiple things in a turn, so that way we can... Yeah, they just win, though. I, I forgot this gives unblockable. That's fine. Um, well done, opponent. Uh, that was a pretty cool game, though. Uh, I really like this combination of cards. I thought this was great, so that was awesome. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. I really did, and we'll uh, we'll see you hopefully very soon with another one. Uh, we've got hopefully a couple of these played out throughout the week uh, and the weekend, just to make sure that you know we've got some content scheduled up for you guys uh, throughout the week. So hopefully, you'll check all that out. But thank you so much, and I will see you in the next Jumpstart video. Have a great week and a fantastic weekend, guys. I'll see you later.